First, one person was injured in a fire that started early this morning at a local rubber manufacturing plant. A fire that continues to burn at this hour. That's where we begin News Channel 11 at 5 o'clock. I'm Josh Smith. Sarah Diamond is off tonight. Thank you for joining us. Multiple fire departments were called to the Hexpole compounding plant on Old State Route 34 in Jonesboro around 2.30 a.m. Traffic on State Route 34 as well as on Judge Vines and Shell Roads were impacted for several hours. Febben Casahoon joins us live from near the plant in Jonesboro. Febben, what have you learned today about how long this is going to burn? Hey Josh, good evening. Like as you can see behind me, the fire is still going on. Now firefighters are concerned about two things: putting the fire out and preventing the runoff water from getting into a nearby creek. Now in the meantime, I did speak to an employee. He was one of the 22 employees who was able to escape safely, and he told me those moments leading up to it. I was on break, sitting in the, uh, the supervisor's office, sitting there talking to him about what we had coming up. Next thing I know, the fire alarm goes off and everybody was told to evacuate the building. Hexpo compound employees arrived to work at 9 p.m. Wednesday night, assuming it would be a normal shift. We were all spread out throughout the building. We had people, we had two or three on the top floor of the warehouse, we had a couple on the mixer floors, and we had a bunch of guys downstairs as well. He was among the 22 employees forced to escape the Jonesboro rubber compounding facility within minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Everything's going to be. Be all right. He's more concerned about his colleague who was taken to the hospital with burns. We really appreciate the first responders who have been very professional and helping us through this. But our main concern right now is with our employees, particularly the one that's injured, and also with our customers. While the cause of the fire is still under investigation, a small explosion from what I understand, emergency departments are monitoring something else the remnants of the water being used to put out the fire. Basically, 2,000 gallons per minute since this thing started. Runoff water got into Little Limestone Creek, affecting water supply for livestock. We're actively, actually, at the moment, uh, building a dam down near Davy Crockett to try to contain some of the. The material that's actually floating on top of the water, so we can remove that from the, the surface. Now, emergency management crews tell me that it could take up to two weeks for the water to be safe for livestock. And as for that injured employee, his condition is unknown at this time. Live in Jonesboro, Febin Castahoon, News Channel 11.